What's, what's the one thing that all businesses need in order to keep running? The one thing is customers or clients. You've got to have customers if you're going to make money. So when you're in business, it's your responsibility to always be looking for new prospects, people who might end up buying whatever it is that you're offering. If you're offering a product or service or both, whatever it is. Many people I know have really depended a lot on social media, especially Instagram and Facebook, to build that list or to build that um, knowledge of their business, to build that list of people who know about them and who buy for them. And there's nothing wrong with using social media, but as the outages happen in social media more frequently, it's a good lesson to remember that your sole purpose for using social media is to move that person into your email subscriber list so that you have them on a prospect list and you can reach out to them through your email marketing program over and over and over again and let them know what's going on with your business and what it is that you're offering. Because if social media dies, like it has died for Instagram and Facebook recently, you're dead in the water if you don't have those people who know about you in social media moved over into a subscriber list and you don't have an email marketing program. I think about this a lot because I often work with people who don't have enough customers. That's the reason they come to me. They haven't really um, figured out the best way to market and or advertise their business. You don't have to use social media in order to find customers, but most of the people I know do use it and probably depend upon it too heavily. <clears throat> well, what are some other ways that you can gain customers or prospective customers? You can do it by speaking and uh, getting name recognition for yourself and becoming an expert um, that who offers speeches about your topic. You can do it by writing, by writing ebooks or regular books or blog articles or other kinds of content. You can do it by networking in real life, locally or going to events that are out of town where a lot of people in your industry gather. You can do it by paid advertising, either through Facebook ads or through pay-per-click ads or through other types of advertising. But whatever you do, no matter what method or methods you use, your sole reason for doing that marketing is to be able to develop a list of potential customers or prospects who will buy from you. So in your email marketing, you, have, you should have two lists. One is a list of people who have actually already bought from you and you can keep them informed about what you're up to and what your products and services are and um, encourage them to buy from you again. And one is a list of prospects, people who know you and who are coming to like you and trust you, but who have not yet spent a single solitary dime with you. So the thing that had happened, happened recently when Instagram and Facebook were both out really was a good lesson because if you had social media followers, tens of thousands of them, but you didn't have an email list, you were dead in the water. You couldn't contact a single solitary person because you didn't have their email. And I have seen several businesses go out of business because while they were strong in social media, once they stopped meeting, uh, feeding that social media machine, they lost top of mind awareness and they didn't have any other way to contact people because they hadn't tried to bring people from social media into their subscriber list. So email marketing is really important. What you have in social media, your followers, even if you have 50,000 or 100,000 followers in social media, that is not a business asset. You do not own that. You do not own that. And you can't, um, you do not own that. And you can't sell that. It's not considered a business asset that is actually worth money. Why? Because it can disappear at any given moment, as it just did not long ago with Facebook and Instagram when they were down. So assets are the list of names that you own. When a business is going to be sold, then people look at what is their prospect and customer list? How many people do they have reach where they own that asset in an email or subscriber list?
So never ever think that social media is the be all and end all for your marketing. It can be a good portion of your marketing, but nevertheless, your sole reason for being on social media is to move that person from a social media follower into a person who has subscribed to your email list. And then it's your responsibility to make sure that you feed that email list with news and information and valuable content so that they will look forward to your emails and they will follow you and eventually they will buy from you. That is what is the lifeblood of your business is customers. So no matter the ways that you work, whether you speak, whether you write, whether you network in real life, whether you use social media, whether you use a combination of all of those things, always make sure that your business method, your strategy, is a, is a way to meet those people, no matter how you meet them, and then move them into someone who is an asset for you on your email list. This is Sim Painter with ConfidentMarketer.com. You can go to my website and you'll find an uh, online course that I have that is called list building for impact and you can get that course and it will walk you through how to build an email subscriber list if you have questions feel free to contact me on email directly at sue at confidentmarketer.com but remember your email list is an asset you own your social media followers are not this is Sue. Till later. Bye-bye.